So I recently did a video showing you how I scrape the information of people profiles from LinkedIn. But in this video, I'm going to show you how I scrape the information of company pages from LinkedIn. So here I am on LinkedIn, I performed the search for companies and my goal is to essentially um, launch an automation that will go through each one of these companies, it will open up the company page and it will extract all the information that is available on this page and organize it in a spreadsheet. To do this, I use a tool called Phantom Buster. This is the automation platform. And I'm gonna put a link for it in the description if you wanna sign up for a free trial and follow along. Now, once you're logged into Phantom Buster, you wanna to go to the solutions page here and you wanna search for LinkedIn Company Scraper. This is the automation. Use this Phantom. And now we're gonna go through the steps to configure it. Now, the first thing we need to provide here is a list of company URLs that we want the automation to scrape. And there's different ways to do this, but the easiest one is to click on URL and then provide a link to a spreadsheet that contains the LinkedIn company page URLs. So what I'm gonna do here, I have a spreadsheet set up and I'm going to uh, create a column here called LinkedIn um, company page URLs. And under this column, I'm going to paste the page URLs of the companies I wanna scrape. So I'm gonna go back to LinkedIn and let's say I want to do the first five from this list here. I'm gonna copy link address, paste it there. Copy link address, paste it there. Copy link address, paste it. Okay, five companies. Then I'm gonna go share and I'm gonna change the access settings to anyone with the link. So essentially anyone who has this link will be able to view the information in the spreadsheet. And this is how the automation will be able to access the spreadsheet and read the links. So I'm gonna copy the link, go back to Phantom Buster, and I'm gonna paste the link there. Then I'm gonna to go to spreadsheet settings and say that the company URLs are under the company uh, the LinkedIn company page URLs column. I'm gonna click save. And then here, I'm gonna click connect to LinkedIn and this is gonna, um, this is gonna automatically connect to my LinkedIn account. Now, the first time you do this, you will need to actually um, install the Phantom Buster uh, Chrome extension. So there should be like a, a link here that says install extension. If you can't find it there, then you can just search for Phantom Buster um, Chrome extension on Google and just click on the first one and install the Chrome extension. Once you have it installed, then you can click connect to LinkedIn and it will generate a session cookie. So now my LinkedIn account is connected with Phantom Buster. I'm gonna click save. And then in the behavior here, what I'm gonna define is the number of companies I want to scrape. So, um, I'm gonna actually gonna set this to five since I only have five companies to scrape. And I'm gonna say that I wanna have a five second delay between each company page scrape because I want to ensure that, you know, everything is safe and I don't get banned from LinkedIn. It's unlikely, you know, like it gives you the maximum number of companies that Phantom Buster recommends that you scrape each day. So as long as, it, as, 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 long as you're within those limits, then you should be fine. But yeah, having uh, a larger delay between each company page scrape means that you know it will be safer for you to run the automation, especially if you're planning on scraping a lot of companies in one go. So uh, I'm gonna click save. I'm gonna go to the launch settings. I'm gonna make sure that I only launch this manually. I don't need to schedule uh, an automatic launch. And that's pretty much it. I'm now gonna click launch and the automation will be initiated. So I'm just gonna leave this running and we'll uh, pause the video and come back once it's done. All right, so the scraper is now done. As you can see, five companies were scraped. And if we scroll down here at the results tab, we can see um, 
the companies and all the information that was extracted from the page. So now to add this information to a spreadsheet, I'm going to click download result. This will download a CSV file. And if your goal is to uh, open it in an Excel file, then you can just import it in Excel or any other spreadsheet software that you want. In my case, I want to import it to my Google Sheet here. So I'm going to go to File, Import, and I'm going to upload the file that I just downloaded. I'm going to insert it in a new sheet, import the data, and there we have it. So for each company, we have the name, the, uh, the, the logo link, the banner link, we have um, a description, we have a tagline, we have a follower account, we have the website, the domain, uh, the location, the company address, the industry code, the industry, the company size, headquarters, founded date, um, the company ID, the LinkedIn ID, the sales navigator uh, link, the um, employees, the number of employees on LinkedIn, the company name again, growth in the last six months, growth in the last first uh, one year, growth in the last two years. So basically all the information that you can find on the page is now here organized in a spreadsheet. So you can use it for whatever use case you have. So yeah, I hope this was a helpful video. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I'm going to do my best to help you. Uh, also, let me know if you have any suggestions for uh, future videos you would like to see. And with that said, I'm going to see you on the next one.